why. I mean, obviously, I completely healed my relationship with food because there is, but there is never a restriction. Um, someone put it, someone I messaged put it perfectly. And actually, it's not even that he put it perfectly, it's that I thought it, and then he literally told me like a few days later. I was like, I feel like a child again. I feel like a child with a normal, like, relationship with food except i'm a child that is now educated on my food choices obviously i didn't know what the heck i was eating back then but that's what it feels like a little bit it feels like you are i don't want to say a kid, i don't know sometimes i want to say a kid but then i think about how there's a lot of kids who eat junk food and they don't know what they're eating like I, i'm very educated about my food choices but it's like you feel like you're a kid again and it's just there's no it's just food is just food um and it's, it's a beautiful thing when you've gone through a really rough patch. Okay, I need to drink more. <sighs> Guys, 16 ounces down, I have 16 more to go. Okay, I'm gonna end this live stream in five minutes because I gotta get back to work. And plus I need to change my shirt. But how to build that relationship with food. Okay, you're gonna see it all in um, Glow Up Diary season two. But, because yeah, please realize like, please like, I, I, I need to like make this disclaimer in the comments. People need to understand that my relationship with food progresses throughout the season. Just cause you see one video like, I think at the beginning, I still didn't fully understand how to build a healthy relationship with food. It took months to like trial and error and figuring it out. But I plan to make a really aesthetic artsy short film about what I think is a healthy relationship with food. Maybe I'll make like a little, hmm. I don't know if I should make literally a little mini docu-series about it. <gasps> would that be so, oh no, I don't think, I'm sorry. I just got like a random idea and I was like, would it be so cool if I did a little docu-series about people's relationship with food and how they healed it, showing everybody's journey is different, but then I'd have to like find people and like film them and everything. And I wouldn't know where to go from there. But like, I don't know, just to show, because like, I, I think people really don't understand. Like a lot of people saw me and they were like, why are you being mentally tough? You're hurting yourself, blah, 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 blah. Everybody's solution is different. Like you have, my solution does not mean it's your solution, you know? Um, and a lot of people always forget that. I don't know if people would actually be interested in that. I'm not sure how interesting that is. I'm really excited though. Like, be honest guys, which one sounds more interesting? I'm personally way more interested in this one and I'm definitely doing this one. Um, the mini docu-series about, okay, if you know what my channel, if you wanna know the future of my channel, it seems like it's gonna start being mini docu-series kind of vibes. I mean, I'm gonna make some typical videos too, like being a typical YouTuber. Um, like, you know, like, like a morning routine, whatever, so you guys get to know me better, but, I'm also going to do the docu-series. Like, so I'm doing the one about ballerinas. So like a stoops, stupid, super um, artsy, aesthetic documentary type series. So like different episodes about different ballerinas and their lives and showing the pain behind the beauty. Um, anyway, let me know which one sounds more interesting to you. It's definitely the ballerina one for me. But, but let me know which docu-series sounds more interesting. Oh geez, here we go again. Oh, that is cold. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna make stretching videos again. So that's exciting. Yeah, let me know, ballerina or the relationship with food? 
City life. Ooh, do you guys want to see the LA Diaries? I'm just kidding. I'm not doing that. I'm doing the Growing Up Diaries. Do you guys know about... Have you ever done ballet? Yes. I used to do ballet when I was younger. I don't want to get back into it. It's always been a simple joy in my life. Um... So don't worry, the ballet one is not about me, but that doesn't mean my channel is not about me. Like I have so many, um, I don't really see the relationship with food. Not many people are ballerinas. Yes, not many people are ballerinas, but I have noticed something. I think there seems to be a trend. Like people really are interested in the lives of ballerinas. I don't know. I'm interested. Well, to be fair, I do ballet, but my older sister doesn't do ballet and she's like really interested. I'm doing the dating diaries so don't worry intermittent fasting is a lifesaver i'm obsessed i like love it like literally i feel so balanced with it something like gossip girl and positive vibes whoa people want to see the relationship with food one just a random question do you like k-pop girl I'm coming out with a K-pop video. I like low-key wanted to dedicate a little mini docu-series to it again, but I was like, maybe not. Let me know, actually, would anybody be interested? I don't know, but basically, so me and my best friend, my best friend's name is Vivian, and she like honestly kind of looks like Rosé. Every time I posted about her, everyone was like, why does she look like Rosé from Blackpink? Anyway, so since I have bangs, I'm gonna try to be like dress up like Lisa and then she's gonna try to dress up like Rose. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a K-pop transformation video. So it's gonna be like totally average looking people. And then we're gonna deck out into, we're gonna go shopping and do the mood boards and everything. Like we're just gonna show the whole process of how we transform into K-pop idols, like stage outfits. And then at the end, we're gonna celebrate and go get Korean barbecue. Like I'm so freaking excited. So does anyone wanna see that video? Cause I'm doing that video in like March or something with her. So. Yes, Lisa's immovable bangs. I think cause she has really thick bangs. <gasps> Wait, people like it? Does Vivian go to school in Cali? Yes, she does. She's my bestie. K-pop transformation, love that. Would that be so exciting? Wait, okay, so um, let me know what you, let me know any thoughts about, if you have any thoughts about what we should cover in that K-pop video. Well, okay, maybe I'll see if the video does well. If people like it, like we could do like another K-pop video. Like, I don't know. Um, Okay, I don't, I don't really know if I should do this one just because I know people are really sensitive given my channel. Maybe I could just put a trigger warning before, but like talking about like uh, the K-pop diets or something because I feel like they're really quite controversial. I mean, these girls, I mean, when I was younger and I looked at it, I, I, I knew it was like very little food, but I didn't really understand what people were doing to their bodies and stuff. Like I didn't really understand, but obviously after throughout my year and like learning from Steve and everything about metabolism and everything, now I look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, they're like wrecking their metabolism. That is so unhealthy. Um, and so I don't know. I thought that that would be kind of interesting. But at the same time, I don't really know. I don't really want to. No, not do the K-pop diet, talk about the K-pop diets. But I don't really know. I don't, I don't want to like, you know. So yeah, I'm not really sure about that one. I don't know what else I could cover in K-pop though. Like, yes, exactly. The problem with the K-pop diets is like, it lower, it just, it sets you up not for success. You're just gonna gain the weight back. People shouldn't eat a banana a day. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, exactly. I think that would be triggering for some people. Yeah, but if I put a trigger warning, like if I say disclaimer, like they can just click out. That's their choice, you know. But I don't know. I don't, maybe I'll just do a K-pop workout. I don't know. How many people actually like K-pop though? Like on my channel, I'm curious. I mean, I really like Blackpink a lot. I don't know. Are there, do you guys, is there any K-pop videos that you want to see? Okay, I need to drink more water again. I 
I'm almost done. I didn't know there were so many K-pop bands. Okay, guys, why did we not connect on this earlier on? Why did we not like connect on this? <laughs> why am I just finding this out? I didn't know we both shared a pa we shared a passion for Blackpink. Um. Okay, there's like some girl that made a TikTok. She says habits I learned from Blackpink. I don't remember all of them, but one of them was like this or something. I don't know. I love Lisa and Jenny and Rose and. I've, my bias is Lisa because I've always been super into like edgy looks and she's like, I feel like she's the edgiest out of all of them in terms of style. Apart from Blackpink, what other groups do you like? Uh, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know any other groups. I'm like only on set on Blackpink. Um... Oh my gosh, can we just like jam out for, okay, seriously, I need to leave. I literally said I was gonna leave, but let me just like play one black sink pink song. What, who do you guys' bias is? Jackson Wang, very attractive, let me say. water it was just really cold water okay bye guys i'm gonna get back to work now i'll keep you updated on the worksheets just watch out for my instagram stories i will post them once i'm done with it